You know, at this point, there's about 20 teams I've called, but you, you never know what their interest level is. They're usually just calling to check phone numbers and making sure they can contact you if they want to. Um, but other than that, you, you know, you never really know what they're thinking, and, and that's how they want it. They don't want anybody to know, you know, where they have you valued because they, they want to get you at the, the lowest possible point they can. Um, so you, you never really know. Well, I want to be able to play all five positions and play them all extremely well. Um, so I, I feel like I've proven that where I can, you know, I can play guard or center, and then if we're in a pinch, I can move out to tackle and, and be a suitable tackle at the NFL level. And I think that only increases your value, you knowing that they have a guy who, if anything gets, uh, anybody gets hurt, you can slide him in someplace else, and he'll be, you know, be smart enough to understand the playbook and know, you know, where everything's supposed to go. So I, I think that's really important in the process, being able to be, you know, the swing guard and be the center, and also be able to play tackle. That's all that only helps you in the process. Yeah, well, uh, me and my three roommates will head back home tomorrow. Uh, we'll be with my, my immediate family, then my uncles and grandparents will start coming in. Um, then Luke, who's coming back with me, will come back up here to watch for rounds four through seven on Saturday. And two more of my teammates will come back up on Saturday. So we'll just have you know, family, friends, teammates, uh, just you know, people who have always been there for me. And then once the pick's in, that's really when the, the party starts. You know? it's, not, it's not a party until the, the good part happens. And then you know, more people will start coming over and we'll just you know, kind of celebrate you know, the 22 years I've been working towards this. Yeah, you know, you, you try to take a step back every once in a while and, and realize that this is, you know, this is a lifelong dream of yours that you're working towards and that it's, you know, now it's never two, three days away from finally coming true. You know, that day will definitely be a special day when you hear your name called. That'll be a, that'll be a moment you'll always remember. You know, I, I've talked to Kevin Booth quite a bit. Um, and, you know, he's, he's been really good. He gave me some great advice when it comes to draft day and, and not getting your expectations too high where, you know, that, that ha the happiest day of your life turns into, you know, one of the worst days of your life. You know, you want to you go in there with realistic expectations and, and be happy no matter where you go. And then, you know, wherever you go, you go out and earn it, you know, and you go and, and prove that you should have been drafted higher. Um, and other than that, you know, you just kind of find things to do and kind of get your mind away from thinking about the mock drafts and, and what so and so is saying. You just try to, you know, get away from all that. I, I'd love to be in a position where I can play right away and, and have an opening, um, but I'll do whatever the team needs me to do. Obviously, I'm going to move into guard or center, um, so you know, I don't even know which one, which position I'll end up playing. So it's, it's going to be a great experience, and you know, I'm looking forward to figuring out where, when, uh, and what I'll be doing for, for whatever NFL franchise I end up going to.